Mayor Adams is facing some backlash for appointing former NYPD training chief Juanita Holmes to head the city's probation department. All right, Fox 5's Morgan Mackay takes a closer look into her history and why she's ruffled some feathers. A 35-year veteran of the NYPD, Juanita Holmes, is now the new city probation commissioner. Holmes joined the department in 1987 and worked her way up the ranks, becoming the first black woman to serve as a precinct commander in 2016. I'm passionate about it. I've always been an advocate for anyone that's touched the criminal justice system. Holmes was previously the NYPD's chief of training and recently sparked backlash after she invited singer Cardi B to a mentorship program at the police academy. Cardi B spoke and performed for young girls as part of her court-ordered community service for her role in an incident in a Queens strip club. This sparked some backlash, but Adams brushed it off, saying he was just disappointed he wasn't invited. Those who critique uh, why would you bring Cardi B because she was arrested? The same reason you brought Cardi B is why people voted for me because I was arrested. Holmes also recently advocated for and was successful in dropping the long-standing requirement for NYPD recruits to run a timed one and a half mile in 14 minutes and 21 seconds. According to reports, Holmes allegedly went around the police commissioner's back and went straight to Adams, saying this would help the force attract new recruits. When Holmes was asked to address this, Adams stepped in and refused. She has a new job and a new role. She's not going to be giving her advice on things that impact NYPD. The Detectives Endowment Association President Paul DiGiacomo says lowering training standards should not be the solution to attracting more police recruits. In order for them to uh, get the numbers they need, they keep lowering the standards. And uh, that's where the problem lies. It's a difficult profession. And uh, that's why no one's taking the job. Now, Mayor Adams also mentioned that the city has recovered 99% of jobs lost during the pandemic, once again signaling the city's economic return. Reporting outside City Hall, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News.